Here's how teachers can beat AI plagiarism. When ChatGPT showed up, I gave it a memoir prompt I'd used in my class. These are the first two paragraphs of what ChatGPT produced. It isn't great, but it's one I would have given a passing grade, which worried me at first. One way to beat AI plagiarism is to have students do a few required pre-writing assignments. If you like, they can be completion grades in which everyone gets 100% and not to accept any finished essays until the pre-writing is complete. Then require that the final draft reflect content from the pre-writing. It is possible to have AI do the pre-writing and then to incorporate that pre-writing into a final written product. I think AI can do that, but that's more work than most kids wanting to plagiarize are willing to do. You simply made it harder to do and students not willing to put in effort will be discouraged. Ah, this is ridiculous. I might as well do it myself. But I think the best way to beat AI like ChatGPT is to emphasize voice. Click the link above to check out my video on how to improve voice in one's writing. If you look at AI written essays, they're pretty bad. Not only are there factual errors, it misidentified a main protagonist in a novel I just read, for example. It named a minor character. But they're flat and generic in tone. There's no personality, or what Bruce Lee called emotional content. You've probably seen the clip. He says to concentrate not on the finger that is pointing towards the moon, but on the moon itself. Documents written by AI sound like something written by someone who couldn't care less about the topic and is just writing mechanically, which is exactly what it is. Its writing is the finger, not the thing the finger is pointing to. I'm ashamed to say that I've accepted tons of student-written essays that sounded like this. They got B- and Cs. Over most of my career, I've allowed students to be bad writers as long as they met some basic requirements. A lot of students have gotten passing grades for flat, lifeless writing. AI has shown that to me. I think if you emphasize voice in your teaching and tell students that they'll be expected to include their own voices in their writing, both you and they can keep ahead of the AI curve. One way to do this is to show them an AI written essay and point out its mediocrity, as I did in my voice video. Here's that link again at the top right of the screen. Bring AI into your classroom and point out its weaknesses. You know how students love to criticize and fault find? Say, look at this, don't write like this. Don't sound like a robot. Write with a voice that could only have come from you the way you think and feel with your personality. In this way, AI might actually improve our teaching rather than circumvent it. Good luck dealing with this new technology.